Are you a useful or useless person? Imagine the following story. A few years ago, a man found a lost tablet computer in the middle of the forest. The reason is that a group of researchers had forgotten their equipment on the spot. The native, who had never seen such things, took it home and tried to discover its service. After several unsuccessful attempts, the individual decided to use the tablet computer as a vegetable cutting board. In contemplating the scene, I ask you, was that electronic device useful or useless in the life of that man? You have to agree that it had some use. However, the tablet computer was not being used for its intended purpose. This illustration serves as an introduction to chapter 15 of the book of Ezekiel. In it, we find God's lament about the uselessness that has implanted over his people. His criticism is built through the figure of a vine. God warns that because of the fruitlessness of the vine, it would be treated like the other trees in the forest. It would be cut and turned into firewood. The reason for the decision came from the fact that the vine was created to bear fruit. This was its original function, but because the vine, symbol of Israel, was not fulfilling its role, it would be treated as a useless tree. In verse 5, we find a hard layman. Indeed, when it was whole, no object could be made from it. How much less will it be useful for any work when the fire has devoured it and is burned? Now I come back to the initial question. Are you a useful or useless person? The truth is that if you're not performing the work for which you were intended to do, you may even do things that are important in your eyes. But in the end, you'll be just like the tablet computer used for cutting vegetables, doing a good thing but far from the ideal for which you were designed.